To expand the range of manned and unmanned air systems, the Royal Navy is considering implementing aircraft launch and recovery systems on its two Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. The UK has set its sights on incorporating raster gear and assisted launch equipment in retrofitting as part of its future Maritime Aviation Force plan. The Future Maritime Aviation Force Initiative is a multi-strand program that aims to explore the extensive use of unmanned aviation throughout the surface fleet. The program has a particular emphasis on the future of carrier aviation. Future Maritime Aviation Forces Project Acroyal examines possibilities for gradually implementing launch and recovery equipment to operate high-performance unmanned strike and support systems and conceivably fixed-wing manned aircraft. The initial step is to expand the available length to achieve an unassisted launch for unmanned aerial systems. Following that, it is necessary to integrate a recovery system into the Queen Elizabeth class design, and then an assisted launch system could be incorporated. Potential systems for assisted launch and recovery have already been reviewed as part of Project Arc Royal. The options considered were the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and the advanced raster gear equipment provided by General Atomics for the US Navy CVN-78 aircraft carriers. In addition, the UK has developed its own electromagnetic kinetic induction technology demonstrator created by GE Power Conversion. At present, the future Maritime Aviation Force proposal is still in its pre-decisional phase. Ongoing efforts are being made to explore the full range of capabilities, conduct the raw experimentation, and gather sufficient evidence. These measures are being taken to provide greater insight and context for the UK's forthcoming integrated review, slated for release in 2025. The Vixen unmanned aerial system development is considered the most high-end effort in this field, but it's likely to produce tangible results well in the 2030s. This fixed-wing air vehicle is designed to carry two 500kg modular payloads, and it would require a catapult launch from the carrier. It can be used for various purposes, including persistent wide area surveillance, electronic warfare, and armed strike missions but this project was cancelled in June 2022 before it could progress significantly. During recent Royal Navy presentations, the MQ-28 Ghost Bat unmanned aerial system was showcased. Boeing is creating the Ghost Bat for the Australian Air Force, including an raster hook as a temporary solution for Vixen. Its purpose is to serve as a loyal wingman for fighter jets. Although its original design is for land-based operations, there is a potential for it to be modified for use on carriers. Development is currently in progress for Proteus, which is a high-end rotary wing aircraft. A contract worth £60 million lasting for years has been awarded to Leonardo for creating a demonstrator rotary wing aircraft that will be airborne in 2025 and could potentially replace the Merlin MK2. The Royal Navy is intent to utilize the Vampire, a compact, straightforward fixed-wing unmanned aerial system. Its primary use will be replicating an adversary in air defense exercises, replacing the Hawk T-1 decommissioned in March 2022. The Vampire is deployable by launching from land or via customized rams from the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. This aircraft is modeled after the kinetic banshee target drone, requiring retrieval from sea or land through a parachute. The small rotary wing aircraft delivered via the Future Tactical Uncrewed Air System program is named Peregrine. In February, the Royal Navy announced that they had selected the Seabull S-100 camcopter 
to perform intelligence gathering, surveillance, and reconnaissance duties primarily from warships stationed in Persian Gulf. The platform is uncomplicated but exceedingly reliable and will be outfitted with the Talos I-Master airborne surveillance radar which produces ultra-refined SAR imagery and MMTI and GMTI modes for detecting marine and ground-based moving targets. The radar data and imagery can be transmitted directly to the parent vessel's operation room. The Royal Navy has initiated a competition within the industry for its uncrewed aerial system heavy lift challenge program. One of the objectives of this program is to develop Panther, a logistics-oriented unmanned aerial system that can be used for ship-to-ship -ship and ship-to-shore resupply operations without visual line of sight. The payloads for Panther could include munitions, food, medicine, and spare parts.